Hello, say Charat. Quantum thinking is a technique that trains your mind to see problem from every possible angle. I heard about this technique from Nick Zabo, and it helps to solve complex problems, increase your reasoning ability, it increases also your intelligence levels. Quantum thinking is a very practical technique. You just need to think about a topic that you already have an opinion about, and then try to enthusiastically argue the opposing point of view. And I'm sure that sooner or later, people who didn't watch the video will come here and leave comments criticizing me for using the word quantum. Yes, I know, unfortunately, uh, quantum is a word that has been misused by some professionals or some individuals who are involved in uh, questionable practices the past years. But quantum thinking is a very wise, it is a very useful idea, and you can practice it right now just training your thinking so that you're able to defend opposing ideas and observe all the possibilities. Just for example, if you are a vegetarian, you have to try to argue from the point of view of someone who eats meat, and then explain all the advantages of eating meat, as well as the disadvantages of being a vegetarian. If you are against compulsory voting, then you have to try to defend the importance of forcing every citizen to vote and justify why the government should impose penalties on those who disobey. If you are a saver who invests for the future, then you have to try to criticize your own choices and defend the importance of spending everything you own and enjoying yourself while you're still alive. And why make the effort to argue the opposite side of your point of view? This increases your ability to be more eloquent, it helps your listening abilities, your ability to rationally evaluate the arguments, and even it deepens your knowledge on the particular topic. And if you try to do that, you will realize that quantum thinking is something that is easy to understand, but not so easy to put into practice. Quantum thinking is the ability to have two opposite opinions at the same time. We like to think that we are wise and intelligent people that are able to see the truth in the facts, but each person sees a subjective reality, which is distorted by their own knowledge, their own ideas and experiences. This is not a flaw, this is just an observation. Everything we know, we go through, we experience, ends up influencing the way we see the world. And detaching from the ideas that we have about the world is an extremely difficult task. This is why the quantum thinking technique is so effective. If you're able to practice it correctly, you burst your own bubbles, and then you begin to understand other people's points of view, understand their opinions, and then you can also see problems from a whole new perspective. In quantum physics, an object can have duality, meaning it can display wave and also particle properties at the same time. In, uh, using that as a metaphor, in quantum thinking, your mind is able to understand two or more opposing opinions at the same time. It is as if you're able to agree and disagree about something at the same time. Now understand, please, this is just an analogy. There is nothing actually quantum in thinking like this. Uh, there are some scientists who are trying to prove a quantum theory of the mind, but it is a topic we're not talking about here. We call it quantum thinking because this is how the cryptographer Nick Zabo defined this technique and made it very popular. This is an unusual way of thinking about different topics, and I hope it helps you. More than disagreeing with other people, you have to learn to disagree with yourself. But no matter what we call this technique, we're simply talking about a practice that increases your intelligence levels, which gives you the ability to understand opposing opinions at the same time. It may seem impossible at the beginning, but this is just another skill that is within the possibilities of the human brain. And as with any skill, it can be trained. The only way to develop quantum thinking is by defending opinions that are the opposite from your own and by disagreeing with yourself. In order to train your quantum thinking, choose a topic that you believe in. Preferably, choose a topic that you have strong beliefs about and then try to list opposing arguments. Think about what you would have to tell someone to convince them that the truth is the exact opposite of what you believe. This exercise will be uncomfortable. You have to study, have to think, and say the opposite of what you believe. But the advantage of quantum thinking is in that discomfort. It will expand your vision of the world, develop your empathy, and increase your intelligence levels. Obviously, doing this only once is kind of pointless. It is important to practice and repeat the exercise several times with different topics. You can begin by pretending, choosing specific topics, but 
Ideally, you should actually apply this technique to solve your real problems. For example, imagine a problem from your work where you defend a point of view as the best possible way to solve a problem. Now, try to defend the opposite point of view. Make note of the argument. Change your point of view. Explore the possibilities. Try to beat your own initial position. And you can do the same in your personal life. You can question your own beliefs about money, health, food, relationships. Try to explore other points of view and only to conclude maybe that you were right all along. Quantum thinking is the opposite to binary thinking and it is more adapted to the reality that we're living in. For a long time during human evolution, we have thought about reality in a binary way. We think in terms of it is or it is not, it is right or wrong, this or that. But as our knowledge progresses, we are more and more certain that reality is more complex than zeros and ones. The same fact can be right or wrong depending on the point of view, the context and the conditions in that moment. So sticking to an absolute truth without taking all these variables into consideration is having an outdated vision of the world which will end up leaving you behind uh, not only in your work field, but also in the interpersonal relationship field. We can even use the physics analogy here. In classical physics, we learned that two bodies cannot occupy the same place in space. If there is already something there, there cannot be something else at the same place at the same time. But in quantum physics, there is this superposition phenomenon where two particles can be observed in the same place at the same time. This is a new way of understanding the world, which came with our evolution in our knowledge. And it applies to everything in life. Just as we do not take care of our body the same way that we used to do a few decades ago, our intelligence needs to evolve as well and be taken care of in a different way. An intelligent person is not born like this. They studied, they trained, they practiced different ways of thinking in order to uh, develop their own intelligence. By training quantum thinking, you escape from the traps of an extremely polarized debate. The polarization of radical ideas is one of the biggest challenges in our time. Powered by social media algorithms that only show specific content to specific people, discussing ideas has become more aggressive, toxic, and not empathic. Part of this polarization has been created by experts in manipulation on purpose, as we saw in the episode 240 of the Hello Seicharata series. The person on each side of the story defends their position with binary certainties that are not enough to explain a more complex world. It is as if you try to use classical physics to explain quantum physics phenomena. It simply doesn't work. When you train your mind with quantum thinking, you open your mind to see problems from different points of view. You become more empathic. You are able to understand, to argue back, and perhaps even convince someone who is on the other side of the debate. This is why quantum thinking is an essential tool for all of us to evolve together. If we want to break this polarization barrier that is taking us nowhere, we have to open up to new possibilities, new perspectives. We have to listen to one another, understand new points of view, and sometimes even admit that we were completely wrong. Now, this is not a simple task, but it is something your brain can learn to do. You can train it. You have learned this step-by-step -step process to train it, but you are the only one who can take that card and put it into practice to increase your intelligence. Quantum thinking is a technique that trains your mind to see problems from different points of view. It is the ability to comprehend two opposing opinions at the same time. To practice this technique, you can choose a topic you already have an opinion on and then try to argue enthusiastically the opposing point of view. This helps you to have more empathy, it breaks polarizations by arguing better and increases your happiness levels. This is just another piece of evidence that intelligence is not something that you're born with or without it's staying like that forever. The same way you can train other skills, your intelligence can also be trained, can be developed and increased. In the intelligence course, you will find different techniques to unlock the full potential of your intelligence and memory. You can learn more about the course right now by accessing the link arata.se forward slash intelligence.